I was wishing to have a little more of that floating around in me. It's a bizarre heritage, you know, the idea that there was a different type of human that bred with Homo sapiens and that there's like little bits and pieces of it floating around in people. Yeah, and and people discuss them. People discuss. I was having an argument the other day where they say Neanderthal or Neanderthal, and everyone grows yeah. up saying Neanderthal. And it's one of those things you're supposed to switch once you realize how you're supposed to do it. Right. Neanderthal, but I just can't get comfortable with it. I I go back and forth. There's a lot of words that like that where I know you're supposed to do it, but I can't get comfortable with it because I feel like it <laughs> makes you sound pretentious. It does. It's like rolling your R's in certain Spanish words. But we have this idea that the we have this idea that Neanderthals as unsuccessful right right that they were these brutish thugs that died out but they had a six hundred thousand year run yeah in europe alone six hundred yeah, thousand years longer run than homo sapiens have actually existed yeah yeah so well, whatever i don't next. know that we're gonna hit like i don't know that we're gonna match up and have that run well, we'll probably have a 23 in me for whatever the fuck is after us. And they go, look, somebody back then fucked a human. <laughs> Ugh. Like, oh, one of those crazy warmonger, yep. fucking rapist, thieving humans. That died out. <laughs> that, <laughs> turns out they didn't totally yeah. die out. Overrun with emotions and lies. And they, someone, someone of a superior race infiltrated the humans and banged one of them. Yeah, it's, it's, it's funny to look at that, uh, that understanding of, of those that understanding of those people um and then to, to have this eye to, to picture in your mind's eye even though you can't picture it like what was look like when they were hooking up someone are you know like anatomically and kind of behaviorally modern humans were hooking up with neanderthals was it was how is it perceived by their peers i bet the people that we think of as people back then like you know who George the Animal Steel is? No. George the Animal Steel is a very famous pro wrestler from back in the day. And, uh, oh, I thought you were going to say it was a, a paleontologist or an no, anthropologist. It's no. a wrestler. He's a wrestler, <laughs> pro wrestler, very famous guy who could be a fucking caveman, like legitimately could be a caveman. Yeah. See if you, uh, you got a good image of him. Now, this is what I think. When I think of people, now give me a full body one. There you go. Oh. When I think of people that he's hanging that, on to some Homo sapiens, Homo sapiens from, you know, two hundred thousand years ago, I think of George the Animal Steel. I think there was something like that. So the idea of George fucking a Neanderthal chick, not that far off. I think our idea is like that like Dan Rather would be out there <laughs> banging some monkey lady. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't think I don't think that's the case. Like, look at George's body. I mean, Jesus fucking Christ, he's got the hairiest shoulders I've ever seen in a man. Is he still alive? I do not know. I don't believe he is. I hope he's not listening right now. I don't believe he is. Oh, he's a legend, legend in the world of the pro wrestling. So it's gonna take more than this to hurt his feelings. That guy don't give a fuck. Yeah, he's a legend. But uh, when I was in, a kid in high school, oh, he's he's old as fuck. Yeah, he's uh. Well, those guys, they all, that's a hard way to make a living, man. Oh, he died, died, at, died at age 79. Uh, he had a good run. Yeah. That's a good run for, for those guys. That's a fucking hard way to make a living. But. Have, have, have we ever talked about uh, the the idea of Neanderthals as like having a co uh, confrontational hunting style? No, I don't think we have. Because when, when, when anthropologists look at the the skeletal remains of Neanderthals, they see this sort of suite of this pattern of injuries on them and a, a researcher was looking at the types of fractures that they have on their bones and where the fractures occurred and the breaks and like cracks in their skulls he, he was looking at all this and wound up working with a doctor who had a lot of exposure to rodeo riders bull riders and the doctor was was uh, observing the way in which that suite of injuries was very familiar to him from rodeo riders, the types of brakes and the location of brakes. And this guy has this idea that they had a, like a very confrontational hunting style, um, that they were like mixing it up with big animals. And another thing they found is that when you're looking at skeletal remains from early people, you still see that separation in the sexes. Right, that, that, that the males would suffer injuries at, with a greater prevalence 
than females. But with the Neanderthals, it seems like they didn't have the sort of like duplicity of roles. Mm, so maybe and the females, the females have the same prevalence of of these types of injuries. Whoa! And so maybe they didn't have that the they didn't share that division of labor. Were the females as large as the males? Yeah, I don't know the answer to that. So we know that they had stone tools, right? The crude stone tools. Yeah. But we don't know whether or not they had anything that could launch them. Like they didn't have, did they, would, do we know if they had spears? I don't believe that they've found they had atlatls. Right. And I don't know if they were hafting materials, but they were doing, they were doing art. Um, and I think there's a little bit of a debate about whether they're doing representational art, but they were doing art. They were doing, they were probably making jewelry and is like these are all things that as as we kind of like wake up to what these people were really like and it paints like a more complicated picture there's even this theory and i don't know if this held any water or how long it was fashionable for but you had this really long history of you know, this extremely long history of hundreds of thousands of years of neanderthal you know occupation in europe and then it seemed to be that i remember someone putting forth this idea that it seemed to be that there was this flourishing of advancement that was contemporaneous with the arrival of our own ancestors in Europe is though uh, they were being exposed to or seeing art and seeing jewelry and, and mimicking this from these new invaders that were coming in. But I don't know where that idea sits right now. I don't mm. know if it's been dispelled because of other discoveries. But I remember thinking that was an interesting idea that they would – and it kind of paints this really sad picture, right, that they would – be sort of in the autumn, you know, of their existence. And here's these adorned people showing up with these amazing toolkits and all these abilities and kind of struggling to sort of catch up, you know, it'd be like the country bumpkin, you know, going to the big city. And <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, there was also this uh, idea, I think up until very recently that Neanderthals were not as violent as humans, uh, as homo sapiens. But now there was an article that was uh, published just a couple of days ago that new evidence shows that Neanderthals, like inter-Neanderthal violence between each other was just as bad as uh, Homo sapiens. Yeah, so, and, so and, find that. and evidence of cannibalism. Oh, yeah, there was a lot of that, right? Scraping of inside the skulls, mm -hmm. indicative of tools. Oh, ad blocker got busted. <laughs> they get us every time with the fucking ad blocker. Yeah. Um, what does it say? Humans are just as... Violent as Neanderthals. Are you okay. familiar with the writer John Muallam? No. You'd like his stuff. Yeah. He wrote a really beautiful piece about he wrote a really beautiful piece about Neanderthals not long ago. Okay, I fucked it up. The, what they're saying is that modern humans were just as prone to violence as Neanderthals. I don't have a problem with that. I, I think I'm, I'm I'm conflating this with something else that I read about inter uh, interspecies violence, Neanderthal on Neanderthal violence. The other thing that's weird about them is they had bigger brains than us. They had bigger brains, and they would be like 5'7 and weigh 200 pounds, just jacked, just a little gorilla thing, you know? It'd be great to see it. There was a really dumb theory that was being bounced around a few years ago. It was really hilarious about how uh, we wiped out, we uh, assumed that Neanderthals, because we don't have any soft tissue samples, we assumed that Neanderthals looked similar to humans. But because of the very different shape of their skull, this guy had, instead of giving them European-looking white skin, turned them into a gorilla. Turned them into a, a giant muscle-bound gorilla that preyed on people. And this was like, I, I believe this guy was an actually, is, actually was a professor. And it seemed almost like a goof at first. Do you remember this, Jamie? We pulled this up a few times. Uh, like... Killer Neanderthal theory, I think you call it, but yeah. it was, he had drawn this thing black like a gorilla with like giant muscles all over the place and these big crazy eyes and that painting Neanderthals as a predator of humans and that's why we wiped them out. Yeah, yeah. The, 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 my, my limitations as, uh, see, I was going to say my limitations as an, as an anthropologist, but I'm certainly not an anthropologist at all. I'm just a dude who's interested in it. But one of my limitations is I'll hear theories floated, okay? And I don't follow them long enough to see which ones have any traction. Right. I'll just read about them, and, and I, don't, I don't take it as gospel, but I'll read about it, and I'll be like, that's interesting, and it'll sort of like shape my understanding of it, but then I don't keep track of it. Like, I, I try to really follow the story of like the peopling of the Americas. So when it comes to, to 
the human history of the Western Hemisphere. I sort of follow and like ideas will get floated and I'll track the idea to see where it lands in terms of scholarly consensus. But on other stuff like with, with Neanderthals, I'm always a sucker for a Neanderthal story, but I don't track what ideas that float up are just very quickly denounced as being complete rubbish. Mm, yeah, it's a weird one. You know, it's a, it, it's it, it takes time to there it, it, it takes is. time to follow this stuff. Go go to that other picture. That's what it is. Them the them and, and us. Yeah, but look at some of, his, some of his images. Look at that image that he has on the cover of the book. Like those are the idea. But yeah. There's some way better ones. There's some way better images what they that. drew of uh, full body ones. They had, uh, d is it in the article? This was a link to the just, actual website from a different article. Just go just go to that and then go to That's images. Because right. uh, there was some really bizarre fucking, yeah, there it is, upper left-hand corner. This is what this guy. Yeah, well, that thing, whatever he's got like. going on, that thing is not making art. <laughs> <laughs> you don't think so? No, he's making meat, man. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty preposterous. But Neanderthals didn't have fangs like that no. either, did they? No. What is that? Is he morphing a Neanderthal yeah. into a gorilla? That's is that what he's trying to do? Down here and it's oh, like, that's a how. Oh, I got okay, you. monkey, I got gorilla, you. Neanderthal. But yeah, but like how it's got it snarling with its fucking vegetable eating teeth. Anyway. It's, it's, uh, and then there's the, do we even know what those Denovians? How do you say that word? The one from Russia? Yeah. They, they don't have any idea what they looked like, right? No, I don't think so. They have like so. some pinky bones and shit. Yeah, uh, yeah that, that one's not, that one I don't know. 